and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd switch things up a little bit because my most recent videos are kind of just, I show you a couple exercises for, you know, a clip of a couple seconds so you know how to do it and see the right form and everything, but it's not really where you can do a workout along with me and I used to make videos like that. So I thought, why not? I have a little bit more time today to make a video. So pause this video right now, get on some workout clothes, and you can actually do this workout along with me. This is a mid and upper back workout. It's not too long, so don't even worry about it. I've actually never done this exact cycle, I should say. I've done all these exercises before. I've done them, you know, for this amount of time, but not the exact way I'm gonna be doing them today, so that'll be interesting to see how that kind of works out. Um, I'm gonna be using a pull-up bar, a 45-pound barbell, and then two sets of dumbbells, one 20 pounds and one 5 pounds. So also it depends on you and your body and how strong you are. You might have to use more or less weight than I'm using, so just keep that in mind. Um, you always want to push yourself, but you want it to be doable. So what the whole point of this workout we're doing today is going to be timed. It's not something where you do, you know, three sets of 10 or something. Um, we are going to be doing three sets, but our I guess we'll see how I feel. I'm thinking four sets though. I'm probably gonna regret saying that because after I said it, I'm gonna have to do it now. It's in a video, but. Um, so, <clears throat> I'll just name the exercises we're doing. Some of them I kind of just made up my name for. I, I don't know what they're actually called, so if you wanna know like how they're actually done, then obviously keep watching. Oh, also forgot, another equipment I'm using is a resistance band. I'm just gonna be using like, this one right here, basically what this one is, you can use like any type of resistance bands, but um, it has three like weights on here, light, medium, and heavy, and I'm putting all of them together to do, um, I think I am, yeah, to do one of the exercises that I'll be doing. So um, that's another part of equipment you can use. And if you only have resistance bands and no like other like single weights, barbells, dumbbells, whatever, you can actually do a lot of these with just resistance bands, you know, and it's still a really good workout. So um, we're gonna be doing five exercises. That's the whole one cycle, each for 20 seconds, and you can have maybe a five to 10 second rest in between, but that's, it's not really even a rest, it's more of just um, like, having time to switch over to the next exercise. So we'll be doing these five exercises, um, 20 seconds of resistance band twist rows. Again, you'll see what I mean. I just kind of named it because it looks like I, yeah, it, I, don't, I don't know what it's actually called, but whatever. 20 seconds of dumbbell plank rows, 20 seconds of holding a pull-up position. So if you are more advanced, like, okay, I, I will be honest with you guys, I have a lot of trouble doing pull-ups. No matter how much I practice them, I do practice if, like almost every day or at least every other day doing pull-ups and chin-ups and whatever, and they are just very difficult for me. And since I am doing multiple sets of this, I thought it'd be better to just hold a pull-up position so it's still definitely working on my muscles, but um, or the ones that I want it to work, obviously, but it's still doable for me. So if you are, you know, a little less advanced, like, I, I mean, I'm advanced, but I just can't do that. So if you're like me in any way, you can hold um, a pull-up. If you want it a little easier, you can hold a chin-up. And yeah, if you are a lot more advanced, you can obviously just do pull-ups, do chin-ups for 20 seconds. Um, 20 seconds of bent shoulder flies and 20 seconds of barbell rows. So again, I will show you guys how to do all these exercises if you just keep watching. So definitely pause this video right now and get on some workout clothes so you can do this short little workout with me. Let's get to it. Okay, so the first exercise is resistance band twisting rows. So I'm gonna bend my knees a little bit just for more stabilization. And basically you just twist down into a row and make sure you squeeze your back at the end of the exercise and keep your elbows in. The next exercise is dumbbell plank rows. So you're basically just gonna get in a plank position with the dumbbells there and it gets a little bit easier the farther apart your legs are and you basically just wanna row the dumbbells up Make sure your elbows go kind of to your hips just so you don't tense up your neck and hurt yourself. The 
next exercise is hanging on a pull-up bar or pull-ups slash chin-ups, whatever you feel comfortable doing. I'm just gonna hang, and sorry for the way the camera is here, I couldn't really get everything in the picture here, so I'm sorry about that, but I promise you I am hanging on the pull-up bar, and I had to keep taking little breaks because I'll admit it was pretty difficult. Yeah, again, sorry for the way the camera's positioned and you can't really see it all. Now the next exercise is bent over shoulder flies. Now with this, make sure, okay, so it does a little bit of your shoulders, but make sure you're bent over and using your back to kind of pull up. And I'm using five pound dumbbell weights on this one. I forgot to say with the dumbbell plank rows, I use 20 pound weights. But for this, just make sure it does kind of the back of your shoulder and that includes your back as well. And you wanna squeeze your back at the top and really put those shoulder blades together. Now the last exercise is a barbell row. I'm using, I think it's like a 46 pound bar. It's kind of a weird weight, but um, basically you just wanna bend over a little bit, make sure your back is straight, you're not you know, curving your lower back at all because that could cause issues. And you just wanna row back to your hips just like the plank rows. And yeah, this also does a little bit of your biceps and this one's really good for grip strength as well.
so I'm about to do the fourth set. And I'm dying because there's no fan and no air in here. Oh my god. My back's hurting and I already worked out for two hours today, so like, I already did some back. Let's do one more set. Woo! Whatsoever. I'm in my back house right now if you guys were wondering I'm not in my like actual house So there's not really that many places to film in there So I just do my workouts back here also the pull-ups for me just even holding it They are just difficult. I don't know what it is. I I'm gonna keep practicing pull-ups I'm gonna try to do whatever I can to improve but that is my biggest struggle right now And it has always been even for years after I started working out. It's still a struggle for me to do pull-ups so that was definitely the hardest part for me. I don't know about you guys. Other than that, well the plank dumbbell rows are a little difficult just because they feel weird. Like I noticed I had to um, spread my legs apart like a lot to do those just so I could keep balance because it was very, it's kind of a weird positioning so I feel like I just have to get used to that one but that was a little difficult. Um, other than that, it was definitely doable. Um, it's, I would say, kind of a medium intensity for me. Um, that wouldn't be my full workout. Obviously, I told you I worked out earlier today, so that was definitely a good thing to add to my workout, though. It mostly does mid-back, so obviously if you are trying to, you know, build a very strong back, don't just do these exercises. You need to, things to do your full back, even your lower back, definitely. Um, more like maybe lats and stuff, but this does mostly mid-back. Other than that, I think it was pretty good. I think the 20 seconds on each exercise is just where I needed it to be, at least for me. Um, maybe I could improve after I do this workout a few other days or something. Maybe I could go up to 30 seconds each or something, um, depending on the exercise. But 
For me, doing four sets of 20 seconds each exercise, five exercises, it definitely was intense, but I think that's just where I want it to be. Well, like I said, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, please. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you did this workout with me. If you didn't, you better rewind. Get some workout clothes on. I am telling you, you can't just sit here watching YouTube videos to be healthy and fit. You gotta do the work, put it in. So I'm gonna go shower now. So, <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Don't